All right, so we've got our dock all plugged in and hooked up. And then we're going to go ahead and take this cable and just route it behind the monitor uh, for a bit of a classier look. And the computer we're using will be the X240. And as we can see on this side, we do have a super speed USB 3.0 port that should be able to do the job. We're gonna go ahead and take our dock and we're gonna press the power button. The Think light has turned on. So now that we have everything plugged in and the dock is turned on, we're gonna go ahead and open the X240. And plugging in the dock does give us mouse support, which is excellent. Now let's see if it will detect the additional display. And oddly enough, it does not. So it could very well be that this style of dock is not compatible with machines like the X240 uh, or older. The next two docks that we've got to take a look at are the OneLink dock and the OneLink Pro dock. Now the differences between these two units are actually numerous, so let's go ahead and take a closer look. So we'll start off with the OneLink dock on the right hand side. This is the basic dock, and you'll notice that it has pretty much less ports. Uh, specifically, you will note that it has two USB 2, gigabit LAN, HDMI, power in, and that is it. It's also very easy to identify because it has this plasticky rubberized coating that just loves to pick up all sorts of dust and gunk. The Pro dock on the left, however, has additional port support. It has two additional USB super speed on the back. It has two USB just like the one over here, Gigabit LAN is the same. It then offers display port as opposed to HDMI and then a DVI port next to the power port. The fronts of the docks are pretty much identical like we saw on the USB 3.0 dock. Two uh, USB 3.0 slots on the front with the slot here marked for charging devices and your headphone microphone combo jack front facing. Both of these work very well with the X1 Carbon 3rd gen and prior with any laptop in Lenovo's lineup that features the One Link connector. The One Link connector is this right here, which more or less is a Lenovo ThinkPad power port mated to a proprietary USB 3.0 style cable. So let's go ahead and plug in the pro version of this dock so you can see what a possible setup with this unit might look like. So with everything wired in, we're gonna be using the ThinkPad X1 Carbon third generation, which features the one link dock. We'll go ahead and plug that in and then place the unit off to the side. Now with that unit plugged in, we'll go ahead and press the power button on top of the dock. And there you go. Simple as that. Super clean, super quick, and super quiet. It's almost like you've got a desktop computer off to the right hand side and no one's the wiser. So ladies and gentlemen, if you happen to own a ThinkPad or planning on owning a ThinkPad with the One Link dock, a unit like this is to me a no-brainer purchase. Right now on eBay, these are going from anywhere as low as 15 to 50 Canadian dollars. You buy this, you buy an extra power cord so you can leave it at home plugged into the dock. You have one heck of a good looking, clean, efficient setup. Everything is wired into that one plug. All you need to do to leave, pull that out, put the laptop in your bag, and you're good to go. Keep in mind that if you do just simply yank it, that the laptop will still be on. So if you do want to turn it off before you unplug it, it is always advisable to simply make sure that you're shutting down your computer properly. Keep in mind every time you unplug the dock, you will need to turn it back on just so it wakes the computer and does its job properly. At any rate, if you have any questions about the One Link dock or any of the docks that you have seen on the channel today, please feel free to leave your questions down in the comments below. And as always, I'll leave the big four here for you to consider. Please like the video, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So if I get any more nice docs like this to feature on the channel, you'll be the first to know about it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.